I just got butterflies. Okay. <laughs> Cute. Well, I'm starting to feel like, uh, I guess I'll do this video, whatever, I posted about it, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just another thing on the to-do list, but I was like, okay! <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Get it all out. <laughs> Throw it out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, a little bit earlier than expected since I never post on here, but I've been working on something for the past couple of weeks and I really want to share it with you guys. I'm super excited. Um, I know that I don't have a lot of YouTube videos up, so if you know me strictly from YouTube, then you haven't been able to connect with me too much, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, but a lot of the people who do watch my videos come from my Instagram, and most of the people on my Instagram have known me for a little while now. So that's why I wanted to share this kind of major life update with you guys. Um, so I think I'm going to start by showing you my vision board for 2019. For those of you who don't know what a vision board is, um, at the beginning of every year, as kind of like a New Year's thing, I like to create a vision board and, uh, you kind of print out or cut out or whatever, just pictures of things that you want to accomplish or do or have within that year. Um, and it's kind of just a form of manifestation to me uh, and how I manifest things into my life and how I also just keep driven towards my goals. Uh, so I would like to show you guys my vision board. Okay, so here is my 2019 vision board. Um, uh, I hope you guys can see everything. But, so over here we have like most of my like fitness type stuff, so I wanted to eat healthier, which I've been working on. Still not perfect, but we're only halfway through the year. Um, I wanted to meditate more. I have meditated more than I did last year, but not as much as I would like to. So again, we've still got a few more months. Um, this is just body inspiration. Again, we're halfway through the year. I'm rocking my winter body still, and it's fine. We're working on it. And down here is self-love. Um, that is definitely something that I feel is always going to be a work in progress and that's okay but it's something that I have made progress on so um over here we have like travel things and I have done none of these but we still have time um so I want to go to New York I want to go to Toronto and they have this really cool building where you can be strapped to the side of the building on the freaking top of the skyscraper and just lean out into Toronto and I am doing that so you better see that on your Instagram sometime um I want to swim with sharks and I was supposed to get my associate's degree this year we're still working on that I just have two Spanish classes left I'm practically there it's fine um and then here's skydiving and then over here uh, we have investing uh, Another thing that I am in the process of right now and working on, just kind of learning about how to invest, um, improving my credit score, what's up? Um, right here, I wanted for this to be my first six-figure year. I wanted to make, I had a goal of hitting $100,000 in my income this year, and we're good. Um, and down here, I love designer things, and... Got a few little designer things added into my closet this year, so I'm happy about that. Um, moving over here, we have getting my barbering skateboard. I am supposed to be taking that within the next month. I went to barbering school a couple years ago. I have been a licensed cosmetologist for almost five years now. And the only difference between a cosmo license and a barber license is a straight razor shave. So I just was lazy and didn't do it. But now I need to. Um, but anyways, we're getting to right here. So the Salon 1.0 is all that I wanted to do in Florida. Um, I had my heart set on this salon for a little while 
and I was building up the confidence to go work in a salon and behind a chair and I was good friends with the owner Sunny D. I absolutely adore him. I have so much love for him. He's taught me a lot in the industry and he's helped to mentor me. Okay, okay so my first time in Chicago when I was five years old driving through the city. <laughs> I don't know where I cut off on the last thing. Yeah, the buildings, the people. Okay, so I was driving through in the car in the city and just looking up at all these huge buildings. And I remember at five years old promising myself, I will live here one day in one of those buildings. Just these huge high rises. And that brings me to these pictures here on my vision board and the fact that I just got approved for an amazing high rise in the Gold Coast in downtown Chicago. <laughs> so I'm moving to Chicago in a month and it's everything I've wanted for the past 17 years. <laughs> So, <laughs> um, I'm freaking excited. <laughs> I probably look like a disaster right now, but that's my big news. Um, I'm someone who keeps things fairly quiet on social media. I don't really feel the need to post everything, um, but I felt like I should put this out there just to tell people to follow their fucking dreams. Um, after I started working at the Salon 1.0, I decided that I was not going to move to Chicago this year because I loved working at the Salon so much and I felt very fortunate um, working there. Oh my god, I'm a disaster. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but I have a cousin. I have a lot of family who lives up there, but my cousin had called me and I was looking at apartments in Tampa because I needed to move anyways. And um, my cousin who lived in Chicago, she had called me and I was talking to her and I realized that I just needed to go for it. I just needed to do it. And that was three weeks ago. That was three weeks ago. So... On that day I made the decision. Um, last weekend I flew out to Chicago Saturday when I got off of work. I found my dream apartment on Sunday. I flew back on Monday. I was approved by Tuesday and it's been a week since then and I have my U-Haul booked. And as of July 27th, I will be living my dreams in the Gold Coast in downtown Chicago. And I just wanted to record this video to tell you guys to go after your dreams and to run like you're on fire towards everything that you've ever wanted in life because you'll be amazed at how quickly it all falls into place. <clears throat> So I just hope that this inspires at least one person to apply for their dream school or go apply for their dream job and just move wherever you want to live in life or go jump out of an airplane if that's what they've always wanted to do. Um, I just feel so lucky right now. And I just wish that someone had told me sooner how easy it is to get everything that you want out of life and that all you have to do is go for it. So I'm going to be that person for you, whoever's watching this. It is so freaking awesome when you realize how easy it is to get whatever you want out of life and you decide to just go for it. So... 
thank you for watching me be an absolute train wreck and cry like a baby. I didn't even really try to hold myself together, but that's fine. And I hope that you get everything that you ever wanted in life. Because you can. And there's no reason not to. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I just hope that you figure out what you need to do to get whatever you want and you do it.